Capcom presents In the year 20XX AD, the first annual robot tournament was held with these guys. Man, hurry up with eight of the world's most powerful robots, but dot dot dot. Presumably these are the eight. That guy looks like a baseball. Mr. X, the sponsor of the tournament, took control of the robots and began to take over the world! Mega Man! Mr. X, why? You son of a bitch! It's time to tell you the truth! I've been manipulating that fool Dr. Wily from the beginning! Observe, I look nothing like him! But now I no longer need Dr. Wily's help. Come and face the robot, Mega Man! We'll stop you! Follow me, Rush! God damn, it takes slow in some instances and then it speeds up like it's got a fucking motor on its ass. Alright, Mega Man 6. If you've played Mega Man games, you know exactly what to expect. As soon as I hit start, bam. Eight Robot Masters. What, what the fuck are you gonna do? There's eight of them, you pick, you go. We're going Flame Man first. Why? Because that's how I feel. Presumably, it might have been a really dumb decision. Okay, jumping, shooting, charging, sliding, j oh shit, jumping. There we go. Always get hit by that guy. All the fucking kill So yeah, Mega Man 6. Now, you might be asking yourself, why am I playing this one as opposed to, like, you know, the first one or the second one or, you know, even the third one? And my answer to that is, I feel that the sixth one is generally underrated in terms of all of the NES games. Like, there's nothing wrong with two or three. Those are phenomenal games. But... I like what the sixth one offers in terms of variety to the gameplay, so I mean it's like, which is also why I picked Flame Man first, and this will be explained later on, I mean, you know, if you already know the game, then you know exactly what I'm talking about here, but I like the level design, I like the variation that they give, in, in particular to Rush, like I, I like what they did with Rush a lot. Wait, you can't go down now, for, yeah. And um... What they did for Wush Jet pretty much makes this one of my favorite Mega Man games ever. Now, you know, I, I just like having that. Like, I'm not gonna spoil anything, so I mean, like, right now, if you don't know anything about this game, you're like, what the hell is he talking about? What's a Rush? Well, Rush was a band, and then you have Rush the Dog, so, robot, whatever. Helper to Mega Man. Hype ass helper to Mega Man. Oh shit. Damn it, I love the music here. It's so good. See, another reason why it's so good. Like, 4 and 5, they were decent. I hate 5. Like, I hate 5 because it's, it's too damn easy. And this one, you know, it's, it's, it's not the hardest game ever, but you know what? You know, it is. It's got charm and variety to make up for this, so I'm willing to forgive it. 5 is just like, what the fuck, 5? Like, what, what, what the hell is it? I don't know. <sighs> so. I guess I should start talking about this level. It's Flame Man. He's Indian. He's got well, he's, he's Indian looking. He's got oil. Oh shit! One. Oh shit! I dodged that. Yeah. I can't reach them. Damn. Go. Okay, Flame Man. <laughs> I finished the level. Um, this robot master I have a lot of trouble with. And it's mostly because I just can't fucking gauge what the hell he's gonna do at any given moment. Like, I, I don't know, he's, he's like super easy for like a million people. For me, I look at him like, what are you gonna do, Flame Man? What the hell are you gonna do? You're scaring me. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. Yep, what the f- how do you- how do you know where the flame is gonna be? I, I, I just- I don't know. And I'm gonna die. It's hard, man, to keep talking and fight Flame Man with the fucking goddamn it. Shit the fuck. Oh well. <laughs> I had a good run. I mean, I breezed through that level. I wasn't even consciously aware of what the hell I was doing. <laughs> Spent like nine, however long this recording is. <laughs> like five minutes talking about Mega Man 6 in relation to the rest of the NES franchise. Frank Doug, whatever. I'm gonna concentrate on this shit. 
the hell out of you, flame man. I'm gonna shoot you so hard. Yeah! God damn it, you always jump. We just, you know, oh God. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I cannot do this guy as flawless as I can do his level. And I always panic, like, you know, it, it'll always end up being in the same spot, but not me. No, I, I, I panic. I start losing it, like, halfway through. I'm like, oh god, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's crazy. He's, he's jumping. He's jumping like bolt cut. Oh god. I have to explain what that means. Oh shit, I beat him. Yeah! <laughs> Gotta do that victory dance. It's good luck. If you don't, if you don't do a victory dance when you're playing Mega Man, you're doing the, you're doing it wrong. I don't know what the hell that was. That was freaky. Oh shit! Shot. Son of a bitch. Rush power adapter. This is what I was talking about. So, in Mega Man Six and to a certain extent Mega Man Seven, you. Oh no, it wasn't Seven, but it was. It was weird. <laughs> you get um. That's my chair squeaking, if you can hear that. Um, you can heat. You can basically equip Rush, and he'll give you like different armor and abilities and all that good shit. So we're gonna use that in Blizzard Man stage because at least I can. Whatever. Wait, Blizzard? Yeah. Yeah, because I think um the next guy will give you the other one. You basically, use two. Go up here. What the hell? Go here. Power Mega Man, and it even tells you. Look, he loses his head. He flies into you, and he goes Power Mega Man. Now you're ready to kick some ass. Look at that shit. You get boxing gloves. Bam, he's dead. Of course, you can't slide with this on. It's like, it's basically Mega Man 7. I actually like Mega Man 7. It's not my favorite game, but like, it's, it's playable. Dr. Wily's fucking impossible, though. Like, I'll, I'll make it to the end. And then just, you know, not Dr. Wily, because that shit's impossible for me. <laughs> God damn, I missed that block. Gonna shoot this guy right now. Hey, I'm sliding, jump, and jump again. Look with the fire blast, there you go. <sighs> so, yeah, can you, can you tell I've been playing this for far too long? This is probably like the third time I've tried to record something. Don't pull shit. So this is this is why you would want to use uh, Power Man. Man. Well, you can get rid of the shield dudes like, like easily. You can punch the shit out of that guy. But you can break those um not boxes. Whatever. You, you can break shit with cracks in it. Later on, when you do the uh, last stage, you can um, get an epic shortcut if you. If you platform with the craziest precision that has ever been asked of anyone. And, uh, it's, it's tricky. I've done it with save states. I mean, it, I wouldn't really call it worth it, but you get, like, a shit ton of cool items for doing it. Slide! And now we're gonna punch these blocks. That jump is impossible. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Oh, you can use the flame blast. Yep. I'm just going on autopilot. <sighs> jump up that that whole thing makes me nervous sometimes. Alright, here we go. Bam! Trying to find a job. Graduate college. Well, I didn't really graduate, but I finished and go to the graduation ceremony because uh, 
honestly, I, I didn't want to wake up at like 8 o'clock in the morning to go to this thing that would last two hours. Plus, they had already mailed me my diploma. And, well, once I received that, I was just like, oh, what the hell's the point of that? Uh, Blizzard Man. So ever since then, I've been trying to find a job. There is absolutely nothing out there. So, I like video games. So, on occasion, whenever me and my friends would hang out, I would record us playing. So I just figured, throw my hat into the ring here, just make a video for fun, kill time. And killing time is what's happening here. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm up here playing Mega Man 6. Oh, shit. I forgot he does that. So yeah, Blizzard Man, he makes those snowflakes appear, and then he rolls into you at the speed of thunder. I don't get why the- oh, he's dead. Oh. Oh. Victory dance. Yeah. Well, that was Blizzard Man. He's a punk-ass bitch. That's what he is. That's what he'll always be. As long as you have Flame Man's weapon. Otherwise... Well, I can't imagine it'd be any more difficult if you didn't have his weakness. Huh. I should try that. Now you get the B attack. Blizzard attack. How that encompasses Blizzard is beyond me. But, uh, okay. So, you might be asking yourself, who next? Who next indeed? Well, I'm just gonna kill the suspense here. It's Plant Man. I almost went to Wind Man by mistake. My foot's asleep! I just kicked my camera case. What more can I describe myself doing? I don't really like Plant Man stage that much. I like the music, but towards the end of it, the game goes like fucking crazy! And that shit, that shit always, always, always happens to me. Was, like, I always get hit by that. I just freeze, and it happens. What the... There. But, you know... Health over here, one up there. Oh yeah, you can't slide with this thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that was smart. <laughs> Fuck it. Just go, just, 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 just respawn. Alright, here he comes. Here he comes. Slap the fucking hell again. Fuck it, just go, just go, just go. Just go. Just, just roll with it. Doing on time here. I want to make these very long. So I guess after this stage is where I'll call it quits. Unless I happen to die in the middle of it. And I just, just jump to avoid win. What? Alright, thanks for nothing, Eddie. God damn it, Eddie. God damn it, Eddie. Oh, is this the monkey dude? Yeah. Alright, monkey dude. That's what I call him. Monkey on a tank. Shoot him in the eyes. He's got Sonic the Hedgehog eyes. Holy shit. He's got like the full connected eyes shit. And yet it's two separate eyes, but it's like one giant eye like Sonic. That is creepy imagery. Why would you make something like that? So these springs, if you hold the jump button, you go higher. And that's pretty much all you need to know about Plant Man stage. This is... This is, like, the best part of the stage, and then, like, the most pain in the ass part at the same time. I don't need, uh, you yeah, know. So I didn't even use a power. This should be Monkey Man Part 2. <laughs> Monkey Man Part 2. That's funny, because it sounds like it could be, like, a post-hardcore song. Or, you know, just any song in general. I just said post-hardcore, because... Well... <laughs> I like that stuff. Holy shit! Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. Oh my god. See, the, the first time I tried to record this, I got- Holy shit! I got all this slowdown happening, like, like, right here. And the whole game, not even- not just the recording, but the whole game was, like, slow. In, in slow motion. And it was, like, barely 17 frames per second. This is some horrific shit, let me tell you. I mean, it, it, you know, it allowed me to do some 
crazy epic shit. Wait, that slowdown is not conductive to a decent fucking hell. To a decent, or at least what I would consider decent video. Cause I, you know, I lose some of the quality of the TV. Shit. Shoot him, Mega Man! Shoot him with great jo Oh shit, I dodged that. Oh, my balls. God, whoa. Hey, look at that. Made it to the end. Fuck yeah. Okay, Plant Man. I believe he uses a shield, and his weakness is, you know, the, the bitch attack and the fuck blast, but, you know, we're gonna use a blizzard attack. Because. That does, I think, four. And the flame attack does, like, two. I, I love how the robot masters in this in this game like saunter on down. Oh my god. They just saunter down, like they just float on down like, hey look at me, I'm here. Like, what are you doing? Okay, jump. B attack. Okay, okay. B attack. B attack! God damn it. I'm gonna die on plant man. I'm gonna die on plant man. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Mega Man. God damn it, I love Mega Man so much. I played, I played like so many Mega Man games. I mean, the first one I ever played was Mega Man X, and then I played that so many times. Ooh, Rush Jet adapter. Fuck yeah, Rush Jet. Adapter. Whoa, those are some fast moving plants. They look like diamonds. But that's Mega Man Nine. <sighs> okay, well, um, I'm gonna cut the recording here, and when we resume, I will be taking on... I gotta think about that, because I won't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I guess... I think it's Tomahawk Man. I'm gonna be kicking Tomahawk Man's ass next. Oh, but he's fucking hard, isn't he?